Hello everyone! Hello, 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 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I am the Black Shadow, and last time uh, we had some fun and games in the cavern of Stolen Faith where we took on Dark Aeon number six, uh, Dark Yajimbo, and beat him much pretty well. Um, I've fought him a few times afterwards. Um, I haven't, uh, on this save file, I haven't defeated him the fifth time, so I still need to finish him off, but, you know, I've shown it off, so that's fine. Um, but I did take him on a few times afterwards. I'll just show everyone's equipment at the moment. Um, Auron's got that solidity he's got. Um, he also got another ribbon piece of bracelet as well. Uh, Yuna still cannot get a piece of equipment for her. I'm trying my best. Uh, that's all that. Uh, Walker didn't get anything particularly, but I didn't need it. Uh, Riku, um, hasn't got much actually either. But, uh, Titus did pretty well. Uh, four Genji shields he's got now. Um, so that's, that's fine. And Lulu as well, she's still got her turn E. Uh, ooh. one thing I have been doing just off screen is I've just been getting everyone, like, equipment so they can absorb all the four main elements. Just because, you, you never know. But that's, that's fine anyway. So... Uh, today, we're going to continue our Dark Aeon hunting. You'll see, this is how our, our party is, by the way. Um, as we move on to Aeon number 7, which is Dark Anima, uh, who is a pretty mean boss. Uh, I'll give you an example. She's got 8 million health. So, um, this is not going to be easy. Um, but this is everyone's stats. You can see here, everyone's got max strength and agility, and basically max defense as well. Everything's getting there pretty well. Just show you the spear grid as well. We are now here. We've done about half the sphere grid, actually, folks. Um, this entire half of the sphere grid has all been done. All of it's been done and covered. Um, I sort of gone up here, went around, got to this bit, and then I decided I'd just swing down south, and I've done this entire left half of the sphere grid. Um, apart from this bit, actually. I haven't done this bit. But all the rest of the left half has been done. Um, so that leaves just that to go, which is not a huge amount. And as you can tell from our stats, the vast majority of it is going to be spent on a bit of luck. Um, and then probably just max out our health. And then whatever's left over is going to go on evasion and accuracy. Um, it is impossible to max out your health and max out all your stats um, on a base level. I mean, you can max out all your stats and then use like HP plus X percent to get your HP up to 99999. Um, but uh, on a base level, there are not enough spheres to max everything. So something is going to have to take a bit of a, uh, uh, a knock, folks. So just to let you know that. Anyways, uh, so with that done, I suppose we better go ahead and find Dark Anima. As always. Some things never change, do they, Sid? Yeah. Anyways, so we need to make our way back to Mount Gagaset. Becoming quite a popular place this, um, as of late, yeah. Mount Gagaset. Been here three videos in a row, it feels like. Well, three out of four. No, it's three videos, actually. I'm quite right. Hello, Majun. Like no. I just want to hear making time and just be crazy. Anyways, so here we are at uh, Mount Gagazet once again. Now, um, uh, Dark Anima, I forget at what exact point Dark Anima can spawn, um, but it's slightly irrelevant, really. Um, now, uh, Dark Anima actually is hidden to start with. We need to do something. To get into it, unlike like when we've taken on some aeons like Dark Veil vale 4 and Dark Shiver, just going to the place is good enough, they're already there. Dark Anima, however, we have to do something to cause her to actually appear. Um, so, we let's go and do that. To do this, we are going to need to make our way to the cave entrance. be so sad when this LP comes to an end. I'm going to so miss the music of this game. So am. Anyway, so here we are at the cave entrance. So what we need to do is first of all make sure Kamari has got his halberd on because I don't want to fight anything. And we need to head left and go downwards. 
Do you guys remember when we first came through here? Many, many moons ago now. Um, how we had to do all these little bits and pieces and challenges to, like, um, gradually make our way um, through the um, through the area. We need to do one of them again. In particular, we need to do Walker's throwing the ball and hitting the target challenge again. So, what we need to do is just swim all the way. I am going to get into a fight here. Unfortunately, none of those three have got any um, none account of equipment on them, so we might get into a quick scuffle. I hope not, but we were going to, so whatever. I'm not editing this out, I can't be asked. I'm lazy! Oh no, the fishies! The fishies! They've ambushed us, the fishies! Oh my god! Oh, he did six damage! Oh, he did six damage! My god, I've got auto med, you idiots! Sorry. Oh no, they did 14 da- um, Oh, I've stopped now. Anyways, we're just gonna dispatch this guys. Am I actually gonna be required to input a command? I am gonna be required to input a command. Ah, he's immune. Idiots. Riku, if you do the honours. In fact, mug this guy. Give me a grenade. Not that I need it, but hey ho. Anyways, lovely. Yeah, Riku's the only one that needed some experience. I figured why not. Anyway, so with that done, let's make our way back up here. Oh, this again. Although I have already been here off screen, not doing this fight, but um, this is a v it's very interesting because you can come back here and refrow this. Now, um, if you miss, something weird does happen. Unlike when we first did it, the ball just bounces back. This time, the game will actually fix you and make you go and have a fight. Now, the just a little note here, it's just a tidbit. Um, these enemies, uh, what the MCL fight is actually fixed, and basically it'll just cycle through pretty much every enemy there is in the uh, in Mount Gagazet, basically. So if you're struggling to find an enemy or two um, to like complete the monster arena, just go through this, and you're guaranteed to find that enemy more often than not. But anyways. Hit it! Oh, what? I'm counting. That's that's like invisible particle hacks. I'm not impressed. Can I get some frag grenades from you guys? No. No. God damn. They can drop mega phoenixes though. These guys, which I could do with some. Uh lame. Anyways. So what we need to do is we need to wait for the middle one to move up. This should be good. Game. Alright, if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna off screen until we hit this damn thing. Because that is annoying. Because you don't want to see me fight these guys. We're here for Dark Anima. I just didn't think this was going to be this awkward. This is going to be no good. It's that inner shield's the really annoying one. This... Well... No. This one might be good. Come on, come on. Alright, I'm off screen until I hit this damn thing. Give me two seconds. Thank you! That only took another five minutes. Anyways, hit the target and hello! If anyone here is going to ask me what the logic is of that summoning Dark Anima, please don't ask. Anyways, thank goodness for that. And so now that we've done that, we can now proceed backwards. Which I... I, I don't want to off-screen it. It's just so much work. Ugh. What am I complaining? It's nothing to do with you guys, anyways. Come on, you weaklings. Oh, no! It's going to be more fishies! It's more fishies! My god almighty! Good god almighty! Look how many fishies there are, JR! My god! 
you suck. It's cool having max defense. Exactly. Haven't seen that for ages. Right, okay. Let's carry on with our lives. We will eventually get round to fighting Dark Anima, don't worry. Spoiler, spoiler alert there, spoiler alert. If you don't think we're going to be fighting Dark Anima, put your hands up now. And I will call you silly. Right, so let's make our way back. And I'm going to go and save game. In case something uh, unfortunate happens. So, let's make our way back to Mount Gagazette's Gate. Now, rather weirdly enough, when you get here, the game will not throw you straight into your into the fight. You'll find everyone's disappeared, apart from the shop guy. He's 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 brave enough to stay. Everyone else have decided to um, not be here. Uh, but Dark Anima is not a fun fight. Uh, let's go that start, shall we? Yes. You're mine. I love as well with Dark Anima. You notice how the pendant's broken? That's pretty cool. For those of you who get what that means. But it is boss time against 8 million HP Dark Anima. Now, Dark Anima's stats aren't amazing. Um, she's she's not particularly fast, actually. Her agility is nowhere near as high as some other um, Aeons, so you might be able to get a good few turns in. But we got a long way to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast... Uh, what do I want to do? I might cast Regen on Auron, actually. Um, Dark Anima doesn't attack often, but the attacks seriously hurt. She loves... Oh, I've got the Halberd on you, haven't I? She loves using attacks that cause a lot of status effects. Um, so, having people in with Ribbon, good way to go. You need to cast Regen on yourself as well. Actually, no, Auto Life would be a good idea. So, Ribbons and State Protections are really good. Spirit Lance, super. Uh, let's get Walker in, he's got the other Ribbon. That's cool. And we'll just get attacking. Now, what's the first thing you're going to throw at me? You're going to throw pain at me. Instant death ignores any defences you might have. There's nothing you can do to block it. This even works on Aeon. Aeons, it instantly kills. Now that's pretty, that's something. It completely ignores their defenses, which is pretty bad. So, let's well, keep attacking. Uh, you can use magic on it if you want. Unfortunately, the problem you have is it kinda doesn't work. Anima is immune to magic damage. And even if you use a, like um, an elemental item or something, or like an elemental overdrive, uh, she does actually. She, she's let's say she's immune to all the elements anyway. So um, don't bother with magic. Normal attack will do some damage. It will cause curse and a host of other nasty state effects. If it kills you, it can shatter you. That is bad. So don't let that happen either. Curse, um... Actually, it's only Lulu, it doesn't matter, it's not important. But what I will do... Get tired of Sin, and I'm gonna get Riku using Hyper Mighty, just in case something goes wrong. Because we've seen that happen in this LP, haven't we? So let's not take a chance. So, get another amulet. Wherever the amulets have gone, hello! Keep the pain train coming, Auron. And I'll bring Walker back in. Now, be very careful and watch that overdrive meter. We know what Oblivion can do. Oh.
Well, that was unfortunate. Um. Attack! Attack! Lamb to the slaughter! Uh, Ifrit, you'll do. Oh dear! Um, okay! Well, this battle's been derailed a bit. I didn't plan for that to happen. I should have expected as much. Get a free hit in. Now, Oblivion is nasty. Not only will it do absurd amounts of HP damage, it will also do MP damage as well. So, um, even if a character survives, like if you have Hyper Mighty and the party gets annihilated, if you get revived, you have no MP, which can be a problem. I didn't want to see this, though. Bye. Yeah, you see that MP damage there? That's bad. I love how Ifrit's got his overdrive meter full. I, I, I like that. Donk. Yeah, you're dead. Wasn't that fun, folks? These poor Aeons, they're just sacrificial lambs in my plans. Poor bastards. Right, so now we've only got two characters. Um, oh dear. Um, Auron? Please put on Ribbon. Let's get Lulu in for the time being. Who is going to cast Haste on you. You see why it's handy getting hold of some equipment that has ribbon on it? Because of fights like this one. Couple of hits, lovely. Still only attacking, which is a problem. Um, Auron as well. Oh, not Auron. Um, something you'll be careful as well. Uh, Anima does have a dark Anima has one more really nasty attack on it. Uh, it's um, Mega Graviton. We'll do 7 sixteenths of a character's maximum HP. So, uh, maximum HP, not current. So be careful of that. In fact, for that reason, I'm healing. So just under half. Of course, Shell is going to interfere with that. And just defend. Oh, snap. I didn't need this. That is unfortunate. Dum 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 da 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 Go get you some! This this is horrendous. I did not mean for this to happen. The Orn and Lulu shirt, courtesy of B Stop doing that! This shit has got to stop now, Dark Animal. I do not appreciate it. Kirara is... Use something else! Like that! That'll do! Yeah. It can also cause a world of status effects um, as well. Forgot to mention that. Um, you better heal Lulu, actually. Um, it can cause, um, what can it cause? Uh, memory forgets. Um, all sorts of nasty things. Bloody, like, um, silence, I think's there. Sleep's there. Um, probably darkness as well. I can't remember exactly everything. You gotta stop this shit. Kill 
Raga? Attack. Kuraga. Summon. Who's next on the list? Um, does anyone have a remote chance of surviving? Not really. Uh, go ahead, Bahamut. See what you can't do. You know. I mean, I don't know why these guys aren't just mutinying. Hello, Bahamut. Would you like to take on Dark Anna? No. Go try someone else. I'm not a fool. But I mean, yeah, you don't really want to even risk uh, a um, the team having to deal with this because I mean, if this was to hit you, even if you've got like auto life for everyone, if um, Dark Bahamut follows up with Dark uh, Mega Graviton, that could be end game. If you don't get a turn in, that could be end of game. A bit like how we took on Dark Veil vale Four, and like eventually I get I could survive one energy ray, but I couldn't survive two. That's all. I could be a bit strong of this as opposed, but to be honest, it's not imperative having lots of health for this fight because of Mega Graviton, and you're not going to survive pain. Attack will do a little damage, and Oblivion you don't want to get involved with anyway, so it's all about having decent stats for this fight. Not having a huge amount of health is not imperative for this one. Get Walker in. Use a holy water on yourself. Attack again. I should be using quick hits here, but I'm not. Because I'm lazy. Yep, that's um what I expect. You dead. Well, actually, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, that was quite disappointing. I expected more than that. Oh, well. Go get you some. And uh, I might actually use a focus. Yeah, let's use a focus. The magic defense will help a bit. Not against that, really, but um, in any event. Right. Oren, would you be a kind soul and uh, donate that? Yeah. Thank you, Oren. Your benevolence is unmatched. Don't think Dark Anima, no, Dark Anima is, not, uh, is immune to breaks and all that sort of stuff, so you can't even use that to do more damage. That ain't gonna work. Um, yeah, actually. I didn't want that. Ugh. That's not good. Right, give him that you again. Warren can keep going as he is. Get Lulu back in. To Huraga, and we'll keep going. Say it's not. A, it, 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 I didn't appreciate bloody having to uh, deal with only having two characters, but it's not impossible to win still. 
Just got to be a bit more uh, careful. We'll go with that. More attack rules, of course. Just wish they did a bit more damage. Kuraga. I'm gonna get Auron in to heal himself. Which may be a bit of a risk, actually. But I'm gonna take it. No, Mega Graviton again. Spamming this now, aren't we? Ooh, this is not pretty. Oblivion next turn. Just heal up. Attack. Get Lulu in. He's gonna heal Auron. going to attack again. Who's going to get Yuna in to summon another Aeon. Everyone's got good overdrive meters now. Yeah, I'll get Ixion in. I mean, it's, it's a bit of an annoyance um, when you do have a character shattered that, you know, alright, okay, a character gets shattered, fine, but why can't another one of your characters, say, step in for that person? But I suppose it's like if it's their knocked out, I mean, it would kind of like, you know, it would, you know, someone dying has to mean a lot more. If you've got seven characters, and like if someone passes out, gets knocked out, and someone just jumps in their place immediately, I mean, it kind of defeats the point a little bit. Um, I mean, I know you can, like in Final Fantasy XII, it's a bit more freelance, but even so. Not that they, well, they changed that in Final Fantasy XIII now, didn't they? But uh, that's another story for another day. We'll get to that LP soon enough, don't we? Meanwhile, Dark Anima thinks it's fight night. Yeah, thanks. Um, Dark Anima, by the way, you, you couldn't, like, die soon. I'm kind of running out of Aeons. Yeah, thoroughly appreciated. Signed, your friend, the Black Shadow. P.S. Stop shattering my damn characters. Uh, use another holy water on yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay, then do something different. Thanks! Didn't really want... Why are you Auron again? Do you have something against Auron? Do you have, like, some kind of personal beef with Auron or something? I mean, what's wrong with you? Oh, Lulu, you with Magic Booster. Um, that is so good. Oh, crap, I need to give you haste, don't I? I'm so used to having auto haste, honestly. But once having an armor that doesn't have auto haste on, I need to I need to sort that out. I'm gonna have to um, do that off screen. Yeah, I have another. Got to get those attacks in as much as I can. Lose in trouble. Lose dead. Uh oh. Okay, um, yeah, Walker. let's get you in, Kuraga, Kuraga, oh no, I'll get Lou to heal herself in a second, she's got all her haste, so that's fine, normal attack, thank you for that, attack, let's get, Titus in actually to or what will Yuna do? Yuna's fine, I think, actually. Get her to entrust her over drug gauge to um, Walker that should give me an attack reels. It does. 
The only problem we've got when you've only got two characters, you kind of need to keep one on healing, and you know your second character, you know, so you can only really, you can't attack much, and you know we've only got so many aeons we can get through, so we've got to stay aggressive here. Can't get stuck into just um, healing loads because we're going to run out of time. So we've got to be careful of that. you got to stop this shit now. Walkers learn the overdrive mode. Victim. Okay, I guess. Um, I trust... I'm assuming even though you're cursed, you'll still get this. Yeah, you are good. Right, holy water. Holy water. And I'm not going to get Lou attacking. Uh, get Auron in to heal himself. Yeah, why not? I mean, even the Auron's healing for like 12 and a half. It's pretty good. Said you've got to stop that shit. Okay, um, actually, quick pockets. Can I get another turn in? Maybe if I do use a quick hit. Auron might as well attack. Quick hit. Hello. No. Can I mug? Can I mug you for something? What do you drop? An elixir. Oh, thanks. Hello. Yeah, I should have been doing this long before, to be honest. Attack. And I'll take Walker out to summon in another Aeon. Veil for you're next. You're next. Just not try and quote WWE references at bloody half one in the morning. Half? What oh, goodness me! How much health have you got, Anima? I'd love to know. You, you can't have that much, can you? I've not kept real track, to be honest. I I kind of hoped the fight would be over by now, but I suppose getting reduced down to two characters, that's, um... That has changed things just a little bit. made things more interesting, that's for sure. What items have I got left? I've got Anima itself, Yajimbo, Major Sisters, that's about it. I know I haven't shown off the Major Sisters yet. I need to do that. I'm not going to do it this fight. I've got the, the, seek, the summon sequences on short anyway, so yeah, I kind of won't be able to. Right, let's start and get quick hitting, folks, because we need to get some turns in. Keep the overdrive meter. Uh, Lou, get Lou in. Raga. Health do you have? Another holy water, if I ever choose the right one. More quickets. Get Auron in to attack, and then I'm gonna change Walker for Lulu so I can heal Auron. That's the logic. Heal. I shouldn't have got Riku Shattered. That was a disaster. 
Oh, piss. Right, heal, Kiraga. Get Walker in. So I can give the Alu's Overdrive Gauge to her. Um, in trust. And then attack reels again. You know, Anima, a anytime you want to give up and hold up, hold the white flag up, uh, I'm, I'm willing to accept surrenders. Just so you know. Save us all some time. You're not dead? What? What's wrong with you? Quick hit. Walk her in so I can give another um, attack reels. Um, is Attack Reels going to send Anima over the edge? Um, it might do. So, I'm not going to risk that. Let's just get, um, Lou into Kill Lauren and see what happens. Pain! That's what happens. That was a brilliant decision, Shadow. If you could ever say the word. Uh, we'll use full life. Because apparently no one wanted to use... Oh, of course, Aura doesn't have Auto Phoenix, does he? Of course not. Oh, and Shiver. Oh, hello, Shiver. <laughs> Poor lady. Is she going to do, like, Dark Bahamut and, like, get the winning hit in? That was, that was funny, that, buddy. She has sent Sacrific Sacrificial Lamb. Use Heavenly Strike and actually killed um, uh, Dark Bahamut. Well, she's not magic this time. That's a shame. Come on, Dark Anima. Give up. You should know when you're beat. Getting a bit worried though. See, if I stop running out of Aeons. I haven't got Hyper Mighty G anymore. This thing needs to die, and it needs to die pretty damn quick. Okay then. Let's not hang about then. Throw an overdrive right back in your damn face. You won't die, will you? How stubborn! Like you're in denial! Just copycat it. Yes! Well, you've got there in the end. Well, I had a bit of a heart-stopping moment when uh, Riku decided to get petrified. Oh, thank goodness we got over the line. That could have got nasty. Super. Dark Matter, thanks. Heaven's Cloud, that's really not of any use to me. 
but it is Dark Anima defeated. Yes. Oh, look at that weapon. What did we get there? Not that one. That's not bad in any stretch of the imagination, but I've already got one. So, never mind. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right then, folks. Well, that was Dark Anima. And we've got over the line. It cost us uh, a bit. And something didn't mean for Riku to get shattered, but uh, never mind. The important thing is that she is down. All right then, folks. Um, well, I suppose that's probably where we're going to end the video then. I don't see much reason to go on. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X, seven down, three more to go. And I know I haven't even shown these guys myself. I haven't even used them myself, but, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of using Major Sisters, to be honest, um, because they're um, the way they're used, like Yojimbo, you can't control their actions directly. Um, so I'm not a big fan of using them, but I suppose they have their place. I might show them in some, like, some arena fights or something. But anyways, that is where we're going to be ending this one, folks. So I'm going to thank you all so, so much for watching. And next time, we are going to be taking on the last three Dark Aeons. I'll see you then.